As a medical doctor, I'm often asked about general health subjects. Subjects such as diet, heart disease, exercise and lifestyle. In fact, these health issues are a particular interest of mine because healthy legs are a reflection of good health generally. So much so, in fact, that I would go as far as to say that if you don't have healthy legs, you can't be truly healthy. In this short video, I'll explain why. In my experience, there are three main threats to leg health. These are peripheral arterial disease, shortened to PAD, chronic venous disease, which I spend most of my professional career treating, and lastly, peripheral neuropathy. Let's look at these in turn and let me explain how each is related to health in general. Peripheral arterial disease is commonly known as narrowing of the arteries and by doctors as atherosclerosis. Risk factors include smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure and lack of exercise. The important feature of this condition is that it affects all the arteries of the body and so in addition to restricting blood flow to the legs, it can also affect the arteries to the brain, the heart and the kidneys, raising the risks of heart attack, stroke and kidney failure. Initially, the condition may only cause symptoms in the legs, but it's important to recognize it as it may provide an opportunity to not only improve leg health, but also to prevent heart attacks, stroke and kidney failure. The symptoms of early peripheral arterial disease are pain in the calf muscles when walking after a short distance, which is worse on a slope and which goes away after five minutes or so. The clinical term for this is intermittent claudication. As a specialist vascular surgeon, I have many years experience of diagnosing peripheral arterial disease and advising on how it can be halted and in many cases reversed. Legs with a healthy artery circulation are a reflection of good arteries in general. Chronic venous disease is a very common condition Thousands of people in the United Kingdom are affected by the chronic leg ulcers and the NHS spends almost a billion pounds a year treating leg ulcers with dressings and bandages. Fortunately, they rarely develop quickly out of the blue. Severe varicose veins, aching legs and swelling as well as varicose eczema are warning signs that the leg vein circulation is not healthy and that the leg is at risk of ulceration. Chronic leg ulcers are painful and debilitating. In younger people they can be odorous and offensive causing problems socially and they can cause time off work with infections and hospital appointments, so risking employment. For the elderly they restrict mobility and independent life and in everyone with leg ulcers, there is the risk of septicemia. So, chronic venous disease is a major risk to good health generally. Finally, I believe peripheral neuropathy is a risk to leg health. This is a problem which mainly affects people with diabetes. Diabetes affects the nerves of the legs, causing unpleasant symptoms such as numbness, tingling, burning sensation and problems with balance. A major complication of peripheral neuropathy is pressure sores and ulcers on the feet. Furthermore, there's the double effect of diabetes on leg health. It affects the artery circulation as well as the nerves. So these three conditions, peripheral arterial disease, chronic venous disease and peripheral neuropathy, all affect leg health and they have a major impact on health in general, an adverse effect on mobility and on well-being. So in summary, good leg health is very important and a clinical assessment of the legs can detect important general medical health problems. It is my opinion 
that if you are healthy in general, almost without exception, your legs will be healthy. And conversely, if your legs are unhealthy, it is very unlikely that you will be healthy overall. Well, I hope you have found this interesting. I will cover more aspects of leg health in future videos, so do please remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest news on leg health. My name is Dr. Harun Gadraj. Thank you for watching.